Hi you guys, I'm here for another bag pattern to share with you guys and I'm really excited this one. I just found this website and I absolutely love the way it is laid out. I love all the patterns and the products offered on the site is called SoSweetness.com. I will put a link in the description of this video, but I can't wait to show you what I'm going to be working on from them. Okay, so I bought a few items from this shop aside from just the pattern and I do want to go through with you what I'm going to be making with them. So it is the Renegade bag and again it's from So Sweetness and isn't that adorable? I just love how this bag looks. It is really fun. I usually do prefer crossbodies, but this one looks like it has a nice long strap, so I should be able to still fit it under my arm nicely. So that is the pattern I'm going to be working on. And one thing that really caught my eye about this pattern is that you do have the option to purchase some templates to use instead of using the cutout, you know, printable papers. I like this option because they're nice, thick, and heavy. And I think it'll be really easy, a lot easier to use these over and over, especially if you make bags to sell, um, you know, for uh, vendor events and stuff like that. So I really like the option that you could add these on if you wanted to. So I'll let you know how it was using these. It's so nice because they're a lot thicker and it's really hard to trace around paper. I mean, it's not really hard, but whenever you can make anything more convenient, how fun is that? So all the rest of the cuts for this bag are something I can use with my ruler and rotary, rotary cutter. So it's nice having these, plus then you save paper. <laughs> okay, some other things I bought, and these are what I'm gonna be using on the bag, is some vinyl. And this is gonna be my first time working with vinyl. So if it is hard because of the vinyl, I really wanna open this, so hold on. So if it is hard for me because of the vinyl, I'll let you know on that, but I am gonna give a review of my thoughts on the pattern um, after I make the bag, but check this out. Oh my goodness, isn't this vinyl gorgeous? Look at all of that glitter on there. Oh, I'm so excited to work with this. I'm hoping it's not as hard as I think it might be working with vinyl, but oh my gosh, this bag is gonna be something else, don't you think? So, okay, so I have the vinyl, vinyl for this bag, and that is, of course, for the straps and those accent pieces you saw. So, for the straps in the bottom there, that's going to be the glitter vinyl, you guys. And then this is going to be the pattern portion of the bag. This I did not purchase from SoSweetness.com. I got these from the Missouri Star Quilt Company, but check that out. And... And then I got some green for the lining of the bag. This bag is going to be so fun. Okay, and the other item that I purchased from SoSweetness.com is this zipper um, uh, yarded. Well, zipper by the yard, and it's rainbow that you can see. But check these out. These are probably the best um, rainbow zipper pools that I have found. They are so nice and nice in size. They are so big. Um, they're gonna look great with this and then they have the little heart on them. So I am, I think, going to use, I mean, you gotta go wild, right? I am gonna be using the rainbow hardware that I purchased from her with these. So I'll let you know how the zipper by the yard from them works out. I have been getting most of my zippers from myhandmadespace.com because their zippers um, have been the best to work with for me for me so far. I have purchased them from other sites, but by far I've liked the ones from My Handmade Space. So I'll let you know how these compare. I'm really excited. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this bag together and I'll let you know how I feel about the bag, show all the different components. I'll let you know if there's anything I changed on the pattern as I work through it. I'm not gonna do a full walkthrough like I would sometimes do. And that's only because on the site for this bag, she does have a full tutorial that you can download and it is um, something to purchase. So I don't really wanna do a walkthrough. 
um, of a bag that she has a pattern for or a walkthrough for sale for. Um, if I do have any questions on how to assemble this, then I'll purchase the video myself and let you guys know if I think it is needed. Um, but there does seem to be a lot of pictures of the, you know, the assembly steps. So I think the details are going to be pretty well straightforward. Um, I don't remember it saying on here if like what the pattern is rated, if it's beginner, intermediate. Um, if I do catch that, I'll make sure to let you know when I do the full review for this bag um, and anything else that I can think of that may have been hard or tricky, just so you know what to look out for if you are interested in purchasing this pattern. So the finished size of this bag is 14 inches long by 10 and a half inches tall and three and a half inches deep. So it is a pretty sizable handbag. Um, I don't think the rivets that are on the straps are absolutely necessary. I think it's a nice detail. I did see some um, examples of the bag without them and I thought it was just as cute. I am likely going to use some rainbow rivets I have because why not? If you're going to go wild with a bag, why not go all the way? So um, one thing that is noted on this is that this bag doesn't, you know, contain a lot of hardware with the way it's assembled because you don't need D-rings or rectangular rings, um, any of those type of strap connectors or swivel hooks or a slider. So really you just need the zippers and then if you want the rivets for accents, then that's really all you need hardware wise. So I really love that because Gra gathering all that stuff together when you really just want to sit and make a bag. I mean, it's nice when you can just throw stuff together pretty easily. So I'm going to get started on this. I'll let you see what it looks like when I've finished it and let you know the rest of my thoughts. I can't wait to get working on this. Okay, so I ended up making two of the Renegade bags. Here's the first one I made. And you can see I did decide to put a slip pocket onto the front. It was really easy to do. Um, I just measured the distance between the two straps and I cut the fabric up how high I wanted it to be. So just the top right sides together, flipped it and um, added like a binding onto the top. You don't have to do that. You could just top stitch your fabric. I just like the way it looked tying into the straps. So I just added one on the front on this bag and on the inside, I added two zipper pockets. Um, so the pattern itself, it is really well written. I found it very easy to follow. There are pictures along the way, which I love. And if you struggle at all, you could always purchase her um, video tutorial. So. Overall, I, th I thought the pattern was really easy to follow. I love the bag. It fits really nice under the arm um, for carrying and it doesn't slide down my arm like some bags end up doing. Um, I, so I thought, I thought it was a great pattern. Now, I will say, so I made another one when I was doing the top of the bag because you sew the lining completely, you sew the exterior completely and you slip the lining inside the bag and sew it along the zipper. Um, I think it's a really smart way to close the bag because you don't have to berth it, which can be quite a struggle, but I wouldn't say that sewing it this way was much easier either. Now, on, my, on this first bag I did, I decided to do um, Decoville on the front, the side here, and the back. Um, I really love the structure of Decoville and um, so I think that made it a lot harder for me to sew this because my bag didn't really want to bend down under my machine. So I was like, well, you know, I think that is my mistake because the pattern did suggest using foam and I do have foam, but I just really love the feel of Decoville. It's just a personal preference. Um, it did make it harder on me though. So I made another bag and it is very Southwestern feel. Um, I made another bag and I used the foam. I put a slip pocket on the front and the back 
and I used wax canvas. On this bag, I used a glitter vinyl, which is beautiful. <laughs> this bag is so fun. Um, so I used um, the the foam as suggested in the um, and in the pattern, and I used you know woven interfacing on the lining, like I just basically listen to the instructions this time for the bag and it was so much easier to do to sew along the top of the bag so much easier now is it as easy as some other patterns you know no sometimes it is easier to just to birth the bag through you know one of the pockets or something like that but I think it does leave a lot cleaner of a finish where you if you are gifting the bag to someone and they know a little bit about bag making they might not know how you how you sew everything together without you know having a pocket that is top stitched or something like that so I did do two pockets on the lining of this one on the inside and again I added on the two on the back the actual pattern just has one pocket um, zipper pocket on the inside and it doesn't have the slip pockets on the outside um, I love having a some sort of pocket on the outside of my bag that I can keep my phone in and if I am going grocery shopping that's also where I like to slip my shopping list in so that I did not have to open my bag and dig through everything so that's why um, essentially that I added one on the outside I do think this bag with the size and how open the top is, I think it would make a really cute, um, you know, small diaper bag. If you're just going out on a quick errand and don't want to carry a big diaper bag, you could um, throw that kind of stuff in here. It'd be a cute little overnight bag for your kids or, um, you know, a, a cute dance bag. You could do some cute like ballet slipper um fabric on on the bag um because it is a, it's a nice sizable it's a big bag let me see hold on I'll look up the dimensions I think I did say it at the beginning but just in case I didn't um let me tell you so it's 14 inches long um by 10 and a half inches tall and three and a half inches deep so it's a nice, it's a sizable bag. So I think it would make a good overnight bag um, or something like that. You know, it's it's very versatile pattern, I think. Um, so yeah, I thought it was a really, I love this bag. I think it's a lot of fun to make. I like the shape. I like the accents on it. I think it is really cute. Obviously, <laughs> my my color choices on this one didn't work out quite as planned, but this bag is so cute. The, the colors, the glitter, vinyl, everything. Um, so maybe more like <laughs> at this one as an example. I don't know. It's, a, it is, I think, I don't think it's that bad. I just, I saw it turning out a little bit different when I used the, um, the Stonehenge ombre because each side is so different. I was like, oh, I think that'll look kind of cool with each side being different. But be, this panel looks so much different on this side with the darker fabric than it does on the side with the lighter cream. So sometimes it doesn't work out as you plan. I do want to show because by the time I finished making these two bags, I got another um, shipment from So Sweetness. And I am going to venture into working on cork. And I got some cork fabric from their shop. And oh my goodness, you guys. First, here is this one. How amazing is that fabric? When I opened it, I was like, oh. and it's nicely lined on the back and really soft. And then I got this other one that I can't wait to work with. Isn't that beautiful? Let me know in the comments if you think I should make something with the crazy wild metallic -y rainbow cork first or if I should use the floral and butterfly first. Let me know which one you think I should try to use and do a bag video on because I'm excited to use these and they're both so fun I don't know which one I want to use first. So 
I'd love to hear from you if you've made the Renegade bag before. If you have a favorite bag from SoSweetness.com, let me know which one it is. I'm looking at their Minikins collections right now. They look like a lot of fun, and you get a lot of patterns in those in the video tutorials as well. So there you go, you guys. That is the Renegade bag. I hope you enjoyed the walkthrough of what all the pattern looks like, what you are expected to make, the ease of making it. Overall, I thought everything on it was really easy to make aside from that top panel, and it was definitely easier using the foam than the Decoville, so keep that in mind if you do the pattern. So until next time, you guys, I'll see you later. Bye.